Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki of the Pope's Worldwide Prayer Network, and the readings at Mass today, the 10th Sunday in Ordinary Time, Cycle C, give us two readings about resurrections. Now, mind you, only Jesus rose from the dead never to die again. These two stories, one in which the prophet Elijah brought back to life a widow's son, and the other in which Jesus did the same thing, are not resurrections like Jesus was. The two sons would have to die again and await the resurrection of the body at the end of time. Yet, they are still striking stories about the power of God at work through one of the prophets and his own son, the power that God has over death. You could say that while these resurrections are pretty impressive, there is something else that Jesus can do that is even more impressive, though at first glance we might think of it that way. What's that? Forgive sins. Why is this more impressive than raising the dead? Because while bringing someone back to physical life is impressive, that person will have to die again. Physical healing is nice, but spiritual healing is more important. In the Sacrament of Reconciliation, Jesus brings sinners who are spiritually dead because they are separated from God back to life, the life of grace. In fact, Pope Francis once said a similar thing about how Jesus raised the widow of Nain's son. He said, when we are dead because of sin and we go to ask for God's forgiveness, he forgives and restores life in us.